Welcome to the GK Tech RB and VG engine fan install video with Officer Dan and Johnny Caps. Let's peep what's in the box. Check that out, it's your biggest fan. Just kidding, it's the GK Tech one. Let's move forward with installing it on the RB. Start by removing your intercooler piping in this particular car. Now an optional pro tip is to remove the radiator brackets as we will be leaving the shroud on this time as opposed to the SR. You'll be able to move the radiator around just enough to help with removal and install. Unplug the cast wiring and push that thing out of the way. This will also ease in removal. Now loosen the coupler to water pump nuts, loosen the top alternator nut, then the bottom. Now loosen the adjuster and wind it out. Now press down on the belt to loosen any tension on the water pump pulley. Go ahead and remove the coupling to water pump nuts and the fan should pop off and you can shimmy it on out by wiggling the radiator you just loosened up, being careful not to gouge your radiator. Get it on a bench and remove the coupling to fan bolts. And good lord almighty, this fan had two cracks in it. Good thing we're changing her out for a GK Tech one. This little circular wonder here is our SR fan to RB adapter. A real beaut, ain't she? You'll need this to fit the fan to the RB motor. Now pop the accessories out, which are going to consist of eight bolts and eight wave washers. Go ahead and fit the adapter to the coupling. Here's the wave washer. And you're going to have a long M6 bolt, then a short M6 bolt. And this is where they go. Install the wave washers and long M6 bolts into the recesses of the adapter to the coupler. Now torque to these specs, doing two passes to ensure that they're even in the pattern shown. Now install the fan to the adapter and install the wave washers to the short M6 bolts, torquing them as well to five to 10 newton meters or four to seven foot pounds. Again, doing two passes. And please, by all that is good and holy, install the fan as shown here. Otherwise there will be problems and ain't nobody got time for that. Wiggle your fresh fan in, being careful not to mar your radiator fins. Thread on the coupler to water pump nuts by hand first, then torque them down to the specs on the screen. Again, doing two passes for evenness. Tighten the adjuster down, checking for tension as you go, making sure there is only four to eight millimeters of flex from the longest point using 10 kilos of force. Now torque the top bolt to these specs, then the bottom as well. Now check belt tension, as things may have shifted as you installed. Now it's time to retorque your coupling to water pump nuts, now that there's tension on the belt keeping it in place. Go ahead and plug your cast back in, and again, make sure nothing from the fan is hitting the shroud, wiring, intercooler piping, or hoses, or anything else on the front of the motor. In this case, the intercooler piping was not secured and could have dipped down and contacted the fan, so we have secured it to make sure that doesn't happen. You now have 40% more airflow. Just like that. We'll see you next time with love from Johnny Caps and Officer Dan. You know you'd be a lot cooler if you gave us a follow on YouTube. Hashtag Pro Tips. Peace.